There's another thing in every man. Do you know this thing, my friend? It has withstood the blows of a million years and will do so to the end. It was born when time did not exist and it grew up out of life. It cut down evil strong round vines like a slashing searing knife. It lit fires when fires were not and burnt the mind of men. Tampering lead and hurts to steel from the time the time began. It wept by the waters of Babylon, and when all men were lost, it screeched in writhing agony, and hung bleeding from the cross. It died in Rome by lion and sword in the defiant cruel array, when the death by word was sparkous along the Atmian way. It marched with what the tailors purr, and frightened lord and king, and was emblazoned in their death by stare, as ere a living thing. It smiled in holy innocence before conquistadors of old, so that meek and tame were unaware of the deathly power of gold. It burst forth through pitiful Paris streets, and as it stormed the old Bastille, it marched upon the serpent's head and crushed it neath its heel. It died on blood on buffalo plains and starved by moons of rain. Its heart was buried at wound and knee, but it will come to rise again. It screamed aloud by Kerry Lakes as it knelt upon the ground, and it died in great defiance as they coldly shot it down. It is found in every light of hope that knows no bounds nor space. It has risen in red and black and white. It is there in every race. It is. It lies in the hearts of heroes dead, and it screams in tyrants' eyes. It has reached the peaks of mountain high, come searing across the sky. It lights the dark of this present cell and thunders forth its might. It has the undoneable thought, my friend, the thought that says I'm right.